It's time for Art the Pokemon. What are we going to make this time? Let's create our favorite Pokemon using everyday objects. This time, let's make Pokemon using clay. Clay? Yeah, we can shape it freely and create our favorite Pokemon. Are you ready? Yes! To get started, we'll need a few things. Some clay, paint in the same color as the Pokemon you want to make, and this handy modeling tool. And that's it! I'm going to make Pikachu! So let's begin! Let's create Pikachu using clay! First, let's put on some plastic gloves to keep our hands clean! Now we're going to add yellow paint to the clay! The same color as Pikachu's body! You're putting the paint there? Yeah! And then we'll knead it like this! First, let's add some color to the clay. Wow! The clay is changing color! That's right! The white clay is turning yellow! How about that? It's the same color as Pikachu, isn't it? Pikachu sure seems happy! Let's add more colors to the clay! Black paint for Pikachu's eyes and ears, red paint for its mouth and cheeks, and brown paint for its tail! Iku and Reyna have begun adding color to the clay! Let's see how it turns out! You can add the paint in the middle and then gently spread it out! That's right! It looks like there are still quite a few white patches! Try stretching it out! Keep kneading it and you'll notice the color changing! Once the clay has been colored, it's time to finally start making Pikachu! Pikachu, pay close attention now! Here's the important part. A ball is the basic shape we use with clay. We'll start by shaping the colored clay. Take about this much and use your hands to roll it into a round shape. Let's break off just the right amount and then roll it into a ball. Now we have our ball shape! And once we attach two of these yellow balls together… Is it the head and body? Exactly! Now we have the head and the body! Then I'll take the smaller yellow ball-shaped clay and stretch it like this with my hands. Let's also cut this in half with our modeling tool. Could it be Pikachu's hands? You're right! We have the hands and the feet now. Let's attach them to the body. It still looks like a yellow snowman, doesn't it? Pikachu seems to think so too. Oh, but once the feet are attached… Ta-da! We've now attached the hands and feet to the body! It looks more like Pikachu now! Doesn't it? Next, we'll stretch and shape the yellow and black clay for the ears. We'll use the tool to cut them. She's going to cut and shape clay of different colors for the ears. We'll stick the yellow and black clay together. Look! It's taking the shape of Pikachu's ears. Here's one. And now for the other one. Did I do a good job sticking them together? How does it look? They look like Pikachu's ears. And now let's attach them to the head. Here and here. It's starting to look like Pikachu now! Next, we're going to take these smaller balls for the eyes and cheeks, flatten them with our fingers like this, and then stick them on. 
Now, let's add Pikachu's charming red cheeks. Let's make the eyes, too! As she adds the black eyes, our clay Pikachu's coming together more and more! Everyone is curious and excited to see how it turns out! Adding the mouth... and... The face is complete! Next, she'll cut the brown clay into thin pieces to make two strips. These will be... The markings on its back! With these attached, it looks even more like Pikachu! The markings on its back are done! We'll use a rolling pin to flatten this out and shape it into a tail using this tool! Looks a little tricky. Creating the zigzag shape might be challenging. But May, you can do it! <gasps> it looks great! Good work, May! Let's stick it on the lower back. Once you attach the tail, it's complete! Pikachu! What do you think? Pikachu seems very happy! What do you think? It's made so well, isn't it? All right, let's all try making some together this time! Yay! Hmm, what should I make? A ball shape? Hmm, what should I do? Huh? This shape could be... It looks like both of them have decided what to make. The key when adding color is to gradually mix the paint and knead it together. Remember, don't add too much paint all at once. Alright, Iku, let's add some colors! Iku chose a sky blue paint. What kind of Pokémon is he going to make? How's the clay coloring going, you two? I want to make it purple, but I don't have purple paint. Well, you can add pink colored clay to create it. Just mix this pink and sky blue clay. When you don't have the paint color you want, you can mix two colors of clay together. How's that? It turned into purple! Wow! Now let's use the colored clay to create the shape of the Pokémon you want to make! So, it's a purple Pokémon! What could Iku be making? Reyna is making a pink Pokémon. Hmm, is it Chansey? Oh, it looks like Iku is in a pickle. May, how do I make the face? Why don't you try using the modeling tool? Oh, right! There you are! By using the modeling tool, you can create detailed facial expressions, too. Good thinking, May! Hmm, which part is Reyna working on? Oh, 
It's the eyes! <laughs> it looks like a certain Pokémon, doesn't it? How about it? Did you finish it? I want to add a spiral shape to the forehead here. How can I do that? How about shaping the clay into a ball with your hands and then stretching it out? Then you can roll it up like a spiral. Like this? Well done! Looks like they're going to create some fantastic Pokémon! Well, let's take a look at your completed Pokémon! Okay, I made Jigglypuff! That looks amazing! Wow, look at the Pokémon that Reyna made! It's Jigglypuff! It turned out super cute! Pikachu thinks it's great, too! I made Ditto! Ditto's eyes are super cute! Check out the Pokémon that Ika made! It's Ditto! It looks like it's about to come to life! You both did so well! And for everyone watching, why not try making your favorite Pokémon, too? Well, that's all for today's Art to Pokémon! See you next time! Have fun making your own! Pika, 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 Pika,